Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Alamo Draft House in San Francisco, California. Thanks to the backers of Pinball Patreon. Uh, we are about to play Mousing Around, one of the earliest games as part of the Valley Williams Alliance in the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, this game, a Warp Pemberton design, has uh, some really impressive shot flow and variety in the shots of the game. I have to say this is a game that has grown on me over the years. I did not like it when it first came out, and uh, either I didn't understand it or probably more likely was just playing one where the flippers weren't strong enough because some of the shots in this game, the mouse hole, the jackpot, really require a strong left flipper to activate. I'll take you through that as we play Mousing Around. All right, Mousing Around has a skill shot in the back. There's three star lights and you can plunge to the correct star light. You cannot uh, lane change any of those star lights. So you have to actually uh, plunge it correctly. Um, also, uh, just a quick, a quick piece of information, the, the, the score that's flashing zero is flashing in time with the music. Do, 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 do. So good shooter groove here, generally very good music here, and uh, music by a guy named uh, Dan Forden uh, went on to actually be the, uh, sound, uh, the sound guy for Mortal Kombat and many other games that uh, Valley League could play. Uh, making two ramps in a row lights for a very short period of time is a double score target on the right side. You can hear kind of a splashing sound effect telling you, hey, get over there. So, shooting a ramp, shoot another ramp, and you get this sort of bloop, 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 bloop. This is telling you to shoot the shot on the far right, which will double your scoring for 15 seconds. And yes, you can backhand that. So, that cheesy bonus that says 400,000 was actually 800,000 doubled from uh, the double score. It only lasts for 10, for 20 seconds, I think, but it's kind of a nice uh, little, little piece because it's just something that can happen, can happen pretty often. And then you can use that 15, 15 seconds, I said 20, I'm sorry. Um, you can use that time to try to finish off the letters and cheese and go into the top hole for, boom. The second time you finish cheese, you're also going to get uh, an extra ball for that instead of the points, I think. So in that case, I just uh, I doubled my extra ball, right? right? Uh, not quite uh, playing modern turn where doubling or tripling your extra ball can lead to uh, interesting advantages. The reason I'm concentrating on these ramps and spelling the letters and cheese is not um, just because I love cheese. Well, I, I, you know, I do. Uh, the, the goal here is to advance the jackpot. Level. Every completion of cheese and then shooting into the mouse hole in the back advances the jackpot value to the next level. So it starts at one million jacks, one and a half million, two million. That's that third completion, so that's two and a half million now for the jackpots for most people. And you can collect as many jackpots as possible. Miss shot there to the right targets, the right um, the right lock, uh, and I do already use the kickback. My extra ball though. Um, let's plunge. Try to get a skill shot. I am not good at plunging on the top lane. Sorry about that. If successful plunge to the top lanes will also count as advancing that, uh, advancing the jackpot. So if I can plunge just like I just plunged and have it roll over to the right, boom! Shooter bonus, and it advances a level. So now the jackpot's at three million instead of uh, two and a half. And the next level is a million advance instead of a half million. So I'm gonna take some time here and uh, that was nice. Uh, try to uh, complete cheese the last couple times in order to max my jackpot at uh, four, I'm sorry, five for, for jack. So to do that, we just keep shooting ramps. Every ramp shot is, uh, oh, aw oh, man, whatever, that was all the way around. <laughs> Typically this is how you do it. Uh, 
sing it. This is how we do it with my brain there rather than trying to sing it out loud because nobody would want that. But this is how we do it. Yep. All right, stop. Stop already. Just get there. So, uh, more extra balls and advancements of the jackpot. So this is... You won't see the extra ball in um, tournament play, of course, but uh, you will see this process the players go through to try and uh, not play for a million and a half jackpots. I'm going to be able to play for five million jackpots in this monkey ball that's coming up. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit of extra work to do this, but you're also fully in control of the ball for the most part. Making the left ramp, making the right ramp, making your shots, and as long as you're not missing shots, easier said than done, then you can jack your way all the way to the maximum jackpot of five, five million. This is your personal jackpot. So uh, in Cyclone, you might advance the jackpot. But it's, that's a shared jackpot for all players. This is your personal jackpot, and you get to keep it until you score a jackpot in multi-ball. So here's multi-ball. After getting the two locks, every ball is going to be released, and I need to re-lock, put a ball back into each trap, and then shoot the cheesy bonus ramp for a five million jackpot. Uh, you can choose here, I'm gonna choose a short plunge so that I can get this third ball to my flipper. I don't need to advance the jackpot by getting a skill shot, I just would rather have the ball. And this is nice and ideal here. I'm getting a full trap, now I can concentrate, make the shot like normal, uh, wait for the release. So these balls get released after a few seconds. Got two on the left, one on the right, just uh, cradle separate, put this one in, and now jackpot is lit. Well, that one is still mucking around, and play with this, and cash in. Boom! Yeah, baby! And this is where I used to hate mouse around, because the mouse around I used to play in, in uh, Wayne, New Jersey, um, did not have a, a left flipper that was strong enough to make that, that ramp. So you never raise the jackpot, you never got your cheesy bonus, you never got your extra balls, you never got your jackpot. And it was always so frustrating you get up near that mouse hole and um, I'd be like, no, sorry, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Nope, that's not gonna work either. And it was like, really? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Good rubber there on the left, on the right, sorry. Also good jackpot music. But now this is an important part of the game because my jackpot is still five million, but it's only going to be five million for this multi ball. So let's not put too much pressure on yourself to, to do this. But just know that you only get one chance at this. You're going to have to reload all those letters and keys uh, otherwise. So lock it up. Now here you have a choice of, of taking hold on the other lock while the, the other ball is not in play. And this is something that I have changed my mind about over the time. Didn't do well with it there, unfortunately, but uh, my own fault for missing the shot to the right. I am uh, more likely now to just wait and try to get the other ball to a catch uh, than to, uh, uh, than to just take a pot shot at that. And the reason why is that if you do take that second shot and make it, then both balls will be caroming around together instead of having one ball in play moving at a time. Um, and I find that to be much more dangerous for ending the multi-ball or for uh, well, lots of reasons, really. Here we are um, back in single ball play. We can re -like, reload mousetrap. We've got two mornings, so we can just let that one go. Darn mice, the double scoring was lit. I also lit the million letters by shooting the one, two, three, and then shooting the loop inside. So to light those white lights for a million letter, you have to first hit one, two, three at the center bank, and then put it through once. A lot of players will just go for that and just keep making those loops at 100,000 a loop, and while that's a viable strategy, I, I don't think it's, uh, it's not really a way to get a great score, and it certainly isn't very entertaining to watch, so. Um, I'll, I'll throw it up there if I get a chance to again, but I'm not really going to like try to do that actively in this. There are a lot of extra balls in this game. I don't remember that being worth an extra ball this often. But this is definitely encouraging me to keep shooting for cheese. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, someone will have to explain to me the rule of why I keep getting extra balls here, because I'm not used to playing this game in the uh, um, arcade play. It's a fun I think uh, what, every other... There's another Bill Jackpot and the million. And you can turn that into two million by uh, spelling out, uh, not spelling out cheese, but by getting the uh, the double scoring on that right target before proceeding. Save there. Spell cheese, shoot ramps. That ain't gonna count, but that will. Some points, jack that jackpot up, and meanwhile, you know, you're, you are getting letters of mousetrap by rolling over the correctly lit in lane. You're also getting letters of mousetrap by missing a shot and having a carom into the letter E. You pick up letters of mousetrap by shooting that loop around when the correct side is lit, but that ah, it moves. <laughs> Suckers. I think you might, but you won't. If you try to shoot that loop, it's like, no, I'm not going to make you get that. So, for the most part, if you want to finish Mousetrap, you've got to do it on your do it, do it yourself, or let the game do it for you. Uh, if you're playing in a tournament and you kind of desperately need to go for multi-ball, you need a certain score to beat, then you go for Mousetrap letters. But look what happens. Every time you shoot the Mousetrap letters, your ball is out of control. That is the only time when the ball is necessarily out of control. When you're making ramps, when you're making the loop around, when you're making the shot on the right, all of those are return control feeds. The only things that aren't controlled are the mousetrap letters and the center bank. And so you just have to think, what things should I be doing if I'm, I caused that, uh, that was nice. What things should I be doing and should I be shooting for? What things are not, I should not be shooting for? Right now, I shoot the locks. I want to finish spelling keys though, so that I can hit my hole, get the jack back up to four million, and another extra ball. We were seriously. <laughs> what is the rule here? Uh, why? Are... Someone, whoever is operating this machine, uh, might want to know about. Uh, might want to know about this. It's going to have a serious impact on your uh, average ball, average game time. <laughs> So uh, I think that this is technically ball three if, if we're playing like a, a tournament. Uh. So if I'm acting like I'm on ball three, I look at my jacket at four million and I say, look, I don't need it to be five million, it's fine. I'd, I'd rather take my trap. Post transfer, get the ball from right to left however you can. Left to right, excuse me. Post transfer seems to work best on mouse trap. Lock it up. And once two locks happen, multi ball begins immediately. This time a long plunge because if that did go, I would have been able to, to raise the jackpot. The downside of that is that more balls are out of control and you lose a the ball there, as I did. This is good. Now we can make that jackpot while the other ball is kicking around. Yeah, baby! And here, you know, depending on how you feel about just your decisions and whether a ball should be out of, out of control or in control, it got back to control there. Um, I like to shoot the right one first. Then this kick out has been kicking me over to the right just a little bit. Okay. Come on. This one is a hard separation. So there, the cradle separation when I hit it out a little harder than normal. So that it would go higher, give me enough time to push the other ball in. And pick that out, give me the traps, lock it up. I'm gonna kind of speed up here a bit. And do the things that are a little more aggressive than I might otherwise. See, there it is. And by my aggression, I lost the multiple. So there was no reason for me to put that ball out of control there, other than to, to look more awesome. And the result of me attempting to look more awesome was that I lost the, the multiple. You're not on a timer. You're just on your, uh, you're just on your, your two balls. And as long as you keep both balls in play, the multiball will continue. So it doesn't have to look good. Uh, and this is a, a way that I feel like I've changed my game a bit from, um, 
how I used to play multi ball to how I play multi ball now. I'm much more of a a trap up multi ball. Not to say that I would do this on every game because there's some games where say you score a jackpot on Star Trek, Stern Star Trek, the other jackpots are doubled and they're only doubled for five seconds. So if you're trapping up after every shot, you're not gonna get that opportunity. But here, the only doubler is this uh, temporary time doubler here. And usually there's not much going on when you when you get that double. So what we're gonna do now? Keep that left loop and it's worth uh, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand instead of fifty thousand big loop. And it's over. Yay, doubling. The right thing to do with doubling is if you have the loop open for a million and you can get two million instead of one million. So it's pretty small effects. Kind of a nice thing to have. Another thing that is uh, not out of the question on this game is alley passing for letters. So you can keep the ball under control and almost got a letter there by having it uh, come through there. Now, you may look at the flailing around that's going on and go like, you've got to be kidding me. And you're probably right. But I don't know, let's try again. Post transfer over. And an alley pass is to let it go to the base of the flipper. You're going to make it the in lane on the opposite side. That was too late an alley pass, believe it or not. There it is. And that's the other thing that can happen with an alley pass. Fortunately, we have a ton of extra balls, so we can pretend that didn't happen. And we can just play on as though ball three were real. Um, so three ball game, that's a good score. Uh, let's just, let's keep going for a while and uh, see if we can. I'm gonna try not to earn any more extra balls. No promises. We'll focus on uh, mouse trap and multi-ball instead. And then if we have to, we'll focus on the center, the center bank. Let's do that for a little while. Center bank, one, two, three, boom. And you can see why this is a bad idea. I mean, like, those three shots were all super dangerous. And what I've earned from that is the opportunity to shoot the center ramp for 100,000 a shot. And then it kicks out either hard. So if it kicks out hard, you can roll it over. And if it kicks out soft, then you can just wham it up there again. And if it kicks out hard, you can flop it over, wham it again. Wing. 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 At Papa, the, uh, the center ramp is uh, blocked by these tiny, uh, these tiny uh, extra bumpers that uh, make that shot very narrow. It's still makeable, but it's not wide open free for all as it is on this game. Uh, and you gotta get a sense of why that's set off. Other people uh, like Jake Erskine um, and Teresa Nessel have uh, modified the game so that uh, different shots activate the things that would be on there. And when I finish installing cheese, it, it lifts itself back up again. The real benefit is the kickback will light if you make it three times and you get these million letters active for the rest of the ball. So let's go in for uh, setting the traps and getting back into the ball. Um, after a lock, you have a very brief moment where you can actually see where the, the lane change lights are. So like right now I know that I have the, the leftmost one unlit in the real world of lane change. I moved it over so it's the rightmost one. And this will give me, if I get it, I didn't get it, so never mind. But if you have an opportunity there, even though the thing blocks the lane change, to cut that off and know where you need to plunge to get uh, multipliers. So we'll do that on the next, the next trip around after blocking the second ball here. So multi ball begin, but you can see the lights. The one on the left is the one that's unlit. Now the center one is the one that's lit for the, the skill shot. Now those are both the center one. I'm going to probably punch the center, but failing that, was able to plunge the right and get the multiplier. So it's kind of a sneaky trick. It tells you what you shouldn't do. It's to that guy. That was awful. That was a terrible multi ball. Good job, idiot. Uh, and back to normal. But notice that the jackpot is still at its higher number, 1.5. Um, I'm going to focus here on mousetrap letters and immediately die. So don't focus on mousetrap letters. Focus on cheese 
get your jackpot high, do what I did in the older multi balls. Um, if you're on location and it's just giving you extra balls like candy because I guess that's the way this game works, uh, <laughs> then by all means, just go, go for cheese and take a, a bazillion extra balls. Um, I have no idea if that's what it is. A million is lit now, and let's try to get two million out of it from the double. Gun. Terrible. Well, this is five more extra balls, right? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else we should we should show here. Um, we've pretty much seen all there is to see in the game, including uh, desperately bad play with the last two balls, the last two extras. Um, I have seen some players play for loop rounds, and by that I mean this left loop. So I have 50,000, and so again, it's 100,000, again, it's 150. So the, the reason that that's there is it can serve you if you are in a match play situation where you realize, like, I need a million points. I don't need 10 million to catch up somebody. I just need 1 million. Where can I get it most easily? And sometimes the answer is that uh, loop around. But if you're close to a multi ball or in, this, in my case, the million is lit at the back door there also. That, that left lane is uh, not that great an idea, but if you get strong on this left lane, uh, you can make these shots for up to 200,000 a shot, and it's just kind of nice, you know. And in arcade play, getting that 200 for the first time also lights yet another extra ball. So the right ramp now is for cheese and extra ball and a million. And, uh, hooray. <laughs> Do we really need more extra balls? <laughs> what is going on here? Head for the hole. What's it going to give me? Is it going to be another extra ball? Give me an extra ball! Oh, 500,000 points. Like, what am I going to do with points? Jeez. Points can exchange them for flights, but maybe a three-night stay at a Marriott. Uh, let's do, uh, let's finish Mousetrap here. Oh, bad shot, bad shot, bad decision. Uh, I mentioned earlier that the bonus is pretty appreciable, so getting that 2x and 3x multiplier is it's not nothing to shake a stick at. It's, it's actually quite good. Um, and there, in that case, it was like 400,000 points times the multiplier. Right, what do we got left? One letter of mouse? You can do that. Mouse is right on the end there. It's freaking hard. It's actually, you're more likely to get it almost by a bounce than you are to hit it directly because it's that, uh, it's a heavy yellow post right in front of it. So this would be a situation to call for those alley passes. Where is it? Where's that E? Nope. About here. Nope, not even close. How about here? Yes! Jeez, took a few shots. We got a healthy jackpot with 2.5. Uh, let's go ahead and start multi ball one last time and uh, see what we can get. Or we can miss and drink. I'm okay with that too. That's one. Nice! Come on, get there. Uh, got you. Take like that, crazy Bob. So, I have seen players do this a lot. I haven't done it here yet in this game, which is to short plunge for safety. Like, if you desperately need the ball to your flipper, and you don't want to get out of control, you can short, short plunge into safety in the right in lane, shoot the left ramp, and then shoot the shot. So when you get in rhythm on your shot making, it's not unreasonable here to short plunge this just to make sure you get that third ball. I like the long plunge uh, into the back because I have the opportunity to raise the jackpot. Uh, if you plunge too hard, a lot of mouse and around, it's just going to return all the way back to you. All right, let's play this one carefully and just get a sense of what is possible here. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm all, my goal now is to get the balls back under control. And don't make another shot till, oh, look at that, I didn't even be doing it. It's amazing sometimes like how those caroms can work out in your favor if you just relax and do nothing and let the balls do what they what they will. 
So I'm going to try to, to cradle separate on the right hard so it goes high and push the other ball into the trap. And it works, except I missed the shots. But now the jackpot's lit, boom. Okay. And there I'm just flailing away, trying to get the ball back under control. Three balls on the right, I'm fine with that, but um, I was trying there to get them separated in a different way so that they would carry them better, and it failed. Right here, I could shoot with the left trout. I'm not going to, I'm going to wait for it, and then screw up. But don't listen to them. Don't watch me. One jackpot. It's a disappointment to only get one jackpot in this game. All the way back to one million at the base. And um, you're better off almost getting no jackpots than getting one. But you don't have control over that. It's, it's, all, it's only really uh, a matter of doing better with the shots. Let's see get back one more time. Double CZ bonus. Get up there. Extra ball. Come on. Oh, no. Points. Damn it. Where's that extra ball? Why won't the game give me any more extra balls? It only has like seven. All right, well, if you're still watching, this is Bouncing Around, uh, directed by Warp Hemberton, uh, software by uh, uh, Mr. Sean Polis, uh, Pat McMahon on the artwork, and uh, some some mice, some cheese, some cheesy bonuses. And let's do a little better with this multi, even though we only have a base of uh, 1.5 right now. We're just going to chill out. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so there, right there, the target was not to shoot anything, but to get the balls to this trap, this uh, L1 pose as it's often called. I'm still just gonna trap up. I don't care. I don't have a timer on that jackpot. It's lit forever. Now if I send this ball up in the air, I can send the other one to the jackpot, or I can just wait and separate them. Wait, do nothing. Wait, wait. I don't want two balls out of control at the same time. I just want one ball in play. I'm okay with that ball draining. Is there I get my 1.5? Even now, you think, oh yeah, I should do something with these balls. No, don't do anything with these balls. Wait, wait for something good to come. Or in that case, just don't pay attention to the drain. Sorry. Um, now down two balls, I'm gonna separate them. And, wow, this is pretty, uh, pretty nasty bounce there. Uh, I should have known that was ha that might happen. I was not in a position to uh, to do anything about it. Sorry. And anyway, let's, get, uh, let's see if we can get one more mouse trap. More completion of one, two, three. Dangerous. Don't shoot for that on purpose. But if you do get it open, there I was trying to shoot to the center to get hundred thousand moves, and if you miss that. Bomb off of that. You have no ability to save. It's coming back at you way too fast to do it here. But there we go. Score. Special music for uh, Grand Champion here. This is a music. This was an era where these games would give you like music you would never hear otherwise for high scores. So, Atticus, Jeff Palmer, uh, thank you again for uh, your continued support of the Pinball Patreon and to all the supporters of the Patreon. Especially to Alamo Draft House, to Tim Jasinski, to TJ Byer, to Gene Wang, to everyone who's uh, been supportive of the Patreon for over a year now. Uh, I'm amazed and appreciative, and I hope that uh, this video has helped you learn a little bit more about Mouse. Thanks.